Hey everybody, it's Tanya. Happy Sunday, and I hope everybody's been reading good books. I just finished this book, and it's time to talk about Queenie. We have to talk about Queenie, okay? I had so many mixed emotions reading this book. Okay, so at first I hated it. I hated it, and um, okay, let's rewind. Let's talk about the book and not my feelings. Um, Queenie is going through a breakup. Her, her boyfriend is like, look, we need a break. We're going on a break, which means we're breaking up. But in her mind, she thought they were like on a break. <laughs> when a man tells you he's on a break, he's breaking up with you, sweetie. So basically she plummets into like this whole downward spiral of depression and basically really irresponsible behavior and just, just bad decisions, bad choices. So basically she thinks that like her and her boyfriend are eventually going to get back together. But in the meantime, she, she, what frustrated me was that she continued to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over. And I had an issue with, um, the way she allowed these men to treat her and use her. And that says a lot about her. Obviously she has low self-esteem and a very, she has no sense of self-worth because the way these men treat her is like not even, it's just not good. She just, but, but she allows this behavior. She allows these men to treat her this way. And anybody that allows this, they got some stuff going on. So it's clear in the book and she makes it clear in the book that she does not date black eyes because she's afraid of them. She's afraid of black eyes because of trauma from, <clears throat> excuse me, from, because of trauma from her childhood. So that's understandable. I'm not saying whether that's right or wrong, but the book didn't go really into detail about the trauma from her childhood. It basically gave like one isolated incident and then a couple of like sprinkles here and there. I wish it had gone more in depth because of the way that her behavior is. I needed more meat and potatoes about, okay, what the hell happened to you? What, what happened? But it, it didn't really go into detail it just gave like an isolated incident and then boom, I'm afraid. So I was like, okay, whatever. So in the very, the, the, okay, this was hard to read in the beginning. And in the beginning of the book, I was talking all kinds, the first half of the book, I was talking so much trash. I was just dogging the book so bad. But once we got to the second half of the book, I do feel like she started putting the, the pieces together. And then I realized this is the story of a 25 year old girl. And I thought about how I was when I was 25. And then I had to pull back some of my judgment because when I was 25, if someone wrote a book about 25 year old Tanya, <laughs> not only would it have been a hell of a book, okay? But like, you know what, even if you took like Tanya from age 20 to 25. Not only would that have been a hell of a book, but uh, all the stuff I'm saying about Queenie, Queenie ain't got nothing on Tanya. Okay. Like for real, for real. So I had to, I had to pull back some of my judgment. I had to pull back some of my judgment because during years in my life, when I was um, making bad decisions, they were bad, you know what I mean? And a lot of those things are between me and God. People don't even know about. So one thing I want to talk about is um, I read a lot of, I saw a lot of book reviews about this book and everybody said the exact same thing. I hate the way she treated herself and this and that, but everybody always talked about how cute the cover is. So let's take a minute to acknowledge, yeah, the cover is cute. All right, you good? But uh, I just had to say that because everybody's like, oh, the cover was so cute. Oh, the cover was so cute. And I fell for it too. I picked it up because the cover was cute. So anyway, don't judge me. But the book, I, I, I changed my tune a little bit because I, I had to pull back some of my judgment and realize, okay, this is a 25 year old and she's finding herself. And when you are finding yourself, it's not always a pretty process. It's sometimes it's messy. So the way the book ended, I actually did kind of like the ending. I, I did like the ending. And like the very last line, I'm not going to give it away, but the very last line, it like made me all warm and fuzzy inside. 
I was all warm and fuzzy inside. So anyway, what I recommend it, I don't know because some of the stuff is, is hard to read. So it, it depends. Maybe young women who are in a similar journey, on a similar journey, maybe. But uh, it was it was it was a lot. It was a lot. So um, let me talk about one thing I didn't like though. I think that black women are often like over sexualized and I'm not like on my feminist soapbox or nothing like that. But the men in this book, the way they like sexualized her, like she's a literal walking sex toy. That, yeah, that was hard. Like one dude was like, he licked her and he's like, oh, you taste like chocolate. Sir. So anyway, anyway, those of you that read it, um, if you liked it, tell me what you think. I'm open to comments. Just keep them respectful. And those of you who are linking those dirty sites, get a life. Anyway, uh, Queenie, Candace Cardi Williams. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. Bye.